Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are checking out this TU-144, uh, which is actually the USSR's Concorde, essentially. Uh, it's the Russian Concorde. So, today we're actually going to be jumping inside this thing. We're going to be trying to fly from here, at Harrison Air Base, all the way to the Arctic without any issues. Now I'm going to tell you that there are going to be some issues. There might be an explosion, there might be some engine fires... There might even be hydraulic leaks. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get in the sky. We're going to start flying. Uh, let's go. Okie dokie. So I don't know how we're supposed to get up into this thing normally. So we're just going to go ahead and fly up there and have a little look around. Actually, we won't look around too much just yet, but... Uh, Essentially, we have cabin doors on the front right here. I don't know how you'd get into this thing normally. Probably just some some stairs, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we have a luggage door right here on this side. And presumably, this is the luggage area. Uh, and then if we go this way, we actually go straight into the, uh, the cockpit, which is awesome. So, what we need to do is start this aircraft up. Now, right here, we have a flight engineer seat where we can actually turn on all of these buttons. Uh, and to be honest, that sounds like a really difficult thing to do. So instead of doing that, what we can actually do is use the uh, the smart flight engineer. So you just unlock it, you turn it on, and you press this. Ready for engine start. And that will actually start the engines for us, and then we can just get going. Amazing. Okie dokie, so everything is actually working out right here. Everything seems to have turned on, which is awesome. Uh, we need to check out right here, see if the engines have started, and they have not. However, the actual APU has started, which is awesome. So, that's good. Engine started ready for takeoff. They haven't started yet, so we'll just wait for that. Uh, and then I guess we'll go. Okay, so I've waited a little while and nothing's actually happened. So we're just going to go ahead and turn this on and that has started the engines. Or it is starting the engines, I should say. So that's actually pretty good. Excellent. Our nose is currently down, so we can land and stuff. Uh, and see the runway. But we can actually raise that up, so we'll do that soon. Uh, but no, we're, we're actually pretty good to go. We're going to go ahead and select this and do 650. We're going to go ahead and throttle up to full. Uh, Packet brake is already off. And we should be able to just take off with this thing. So, here we go. We're already uh, we're already going down the runway. Alright, lift up to full. Excellent. Landing gear is going to come up. Excellent as well. And we're going to go ahead and turn on altitude hold straight away. We're also going to do the pitch and the roll right here. Excellent. And the heading hold is going to go on as well. Uh, because that should take us to the Arctic, actually. Yeah. Straight to the Arctic. Awesome. You know what? Actually, I want to go higher. I want to go to about a thousand. I know that's pretty high, but that is where we're going to attempt to go. Straight to a thousand feet. Hopefully this will go well. All right. So there is one more thing that we need to do as well is actually raise the nose, uh, which makes us a little bit more streamlined, uh, which should be very good for us, which is awesome. Um, so there you go. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and select cruise mode. Amazing. Uh, and then we need to do landing after that. But for now, that's okay. Excellent. Okay, so since we've got that sorted, let's go ahead and go backwards and check out the rest of the aircraft. Uh, right here we have a lavatory. Uh, pretty awesome, but we don't need to look at that right now. Uh, we obviously have the little area right here at the front. We then have first class. Now this thing was built in Soviet times, in, in communist Russia. It doesn't make any sense that there is a first class. So, yeah, that's a thing. But anyway, let's go and turn on all these lights. Uh, we have the galley right here in the middle. Uh, we actually have some doors in the galley, so you can actually get out of these doors. I believe onto the wing. Let's have a little look right here, see if it is the wing. Yep, onto the wing, uh, if you need to, which is pretty awesome. And then back here, we've got economy class, which is uh, pretty cool too. And we've also got emergency exits out here and here onto the wing as well. If we go even further backwards, all the way to the rear, we have more lavatories. All the way at the rear. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. Anyway, let's get back to the front and continue flying this thing. Alright, okay, so now that we're actually flying up there uh, and having a good time, I think it is time to say that I'm currently not feeling very well, so if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video down below, it'll help me out massively, uh, and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. I'm going to try my best to, to not feel ill during this, but um, there you go. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue, we're going to keep going north, uh, and you guys are going to experience what I'm going to experience, which is probably an engine malfunction. Yeah. Alright, as it turns out, we actually need to turn left, so 3.30 is what we're going to put in the heading hold, and that should turn us towards our target, uh, pretty much directly, which I'm actually, that was a good guess, amazing. Uh, so we're going to continue towards our target, which is of course the Arctic, that's where we're going. 
Okie dokie, so everything does seem to be going fine. Uh, we do actually have the light on up there, which is awesome. Uh, and everything does actually seem a-okay. Uh, we've got detail right there, that doesn't actually do anything. What is this? Raised seat? Oh, so we can actually go up and down, interesting. We've also got backlights as well for all the instruments, that's actually really cool. Uh, and everything is actually going well so far, which is, um, awesome I would say. Yeah, what is this? This is pitch tilt and we've also got roll, question mark? Uh, heading. Oh, interesting. Okay, we have a heading line right there. Uh, so we are going to continue towards the target, which is, of course, the Arctic Airport. Uh, we will have to put ourselves down once we get there, which is kind of interesting. Um, and yeah, that should be fine. It should be fine. Maybe. Actually, no, wait. Let's go backwards a little bit. Um, ba 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 Do 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 do. Can I sit in first class? Oh, wow, there is actually a table in first class. That's crazy. That is very crazy. Ha diggity dog. Oh, the first icebergs are already here as well. Look at that. First icebergs, we can actually see those. Brilliant. Um, yeah, nice. Okie dokie. So we shouldn't be too far away from where we're actually going. I believe it might actually be on our right. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but it does look like we are going to be getting there with no issues whatsoever. Um, this thing, of course, was built by Enzo Cats. If you guys haven't seen Enzo Cats builds, uh, there's 747s, there is 737s, there's some interesting aircraft as well, like a NASA one. Uh, and also a Ryanair one, which is, um, I don't know if that's interesting to you guys, but there's a lot of aircraft that they've built uh, that you should definitely give a look, give a look at. Is that the right wording? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you, should, you guys should definitely check it out, because um, they're awesome. They are awesome. Okie dokie. So, uh, as I said that there is no issues, I have actually just heard two explosions uh, of some sort that have uh, seemingly done nothing. Oh no, the two, the two inner engines. Are, are broken. Okay, right. I see two inner engines broken. Um, I need to turn those off, but we are using the interesting flight engineer, so I'm not sure what to do with that, to be honest. I don't know what I do with that situation. Uh, fire suppression on the engines. This one and this one? I don't know if it's those ones. Yeah, I guess it is. We've just put them out. Okay. We need to uh, focus on landing. We really need to focus on landing. So, we're going to lower the nose. We're going to lower the throttle. We're going to change this to landing. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're going to turn this off and this off. And that is all good. I do actually see the runway. So we're going to go straight in for a landing. It's going to be interesting. Uh, landing gear down. Amazing. Uh, we are seemingly falling out the sky and going very fast still. But that's okay. Because we're in we're in the Russian Concord. We got this. Uh, we are not lined up whatsoever here. We're actually not lined up at all. But, you know, we got this. Um... Emergency landing, full throttle. Okay. I have seemingly rammed it into the ground, but we have indeed landed. The nose is completely broken, and we've fallen off the runway. However, everybody is still alive, and I'm okay with that. Alright, just for the fun of it, I've turned the throttle all the way to full. Can we actually take back off and fly this aircraft now? Uh, yes! Okay, we can. <laughs> <laughs> it is completely broken, but we can in fact fly it. That's incredible. That is incredible. Okay, keep flying it, keep flying it, keep flying it. Altitude hold is going to go on. We are losing control now. I've actually lost the left engine, uh, which is interesting. Uh, and I can't pull it up anymore. We're actually going to go and crash. Okay, we are down. We are... We fell out of the sky. Okay, I mean, that was... That was good. We made it to the Arctic. We somewhat landed. <laughs> and then took off again and then crashed it again. Um... That was fun. That was very fun. However, the uh, the TU-144 is now at the bottom of the uh, the Arctic Ocean. And, um, yeah, kind of interesting. We actually lost more engines than I thought we were going to. Pretty crazy. Very crazy. Uh, but anyway, for now, I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. All right, okay, I've got an idea. Um, this is like bonus content, I guess, because uh, we were going to end there. But what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to turn that on. We're going to start the engines. We're also going to remove this. We're going to set this to full. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and put the altitude hold at 650. There we go. Let's see if it can do it. Altitude hold is going to go on straight away. These guys are going to go on straight away as well. For some reason, I can't turn that one on, but that's okay. Um, any collision lights, all that's going to happen. Very good. And we're going to set this to this. All right, very good. We're also then going to go to this panel, which is where you set if it explodes or not. We're going to set this to 60. We're going to have everything happen. <laughs> We're going to have literally everything happen. Set the timer. Let's go. 
We've got 60 seconds to get this thing into the sky. Uh, and away from the runway, I guess. I don't know. We can't even fix it. We might even be able to fix it. But let's get it into the sky. In fact, go to the thousand. There we go. And see if this works. Let's go. Throttle's going. I'm not going to control it at all. And we'll see what it does. All right, landing gear. There we go. Awesome. Raise the nose. Awesome. Uh, and we're going to sit in the flight engineer's seat because I'm scared. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, just put it in camera mode. And we'll see what goes on. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be completely fine. It won't be. It most definitely will not be fine. But, uh, yeah. Let's just keep it in this view and see what happens. we got 60 seconds until an explosion. Fire happens. Uh, what else? There's a bunch of other things that might happen as well, but keep this going in a straight line and we'll see what, what does happen. There should be a fuel leak. There should be a hydraulic leak. Everything is going to happen very, very soon. And you guys are going to see it, hopefully. Oh. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but it seems that we are now going down. That's weird. That's very weird. Oh, no, we're fine. We're actually fine. Okay, so it says it's happened. It hasn't, though, has it? Definitely hasn't happened. Put it on, like, 12 seconds. Go. All right, 12 seconds till everything happens. Has the engines even died? Yeah, the engines died, but no explosions or anything happened. What in the world? We should have 12 seconds for it to blow up. Come on. Explode! It's not normal for you to hear your pilot shouting explode, but you know, it's fine. It's okay. Alright, so that's not working. I need to change it. Um, reset timer. One. Turn these off. There we go. Explosion, please happen. No. It doesn't want to explode. I think we might have damaged the explosion microcontroller. So now we're actually fine. Interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. Well, anyway, uh, since that's not wanting to happen, let's just get out on the wing and uh, leave it there. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.